Uh, Gina's question is, what is the difference between a vertical embouchure and the snile? Okay, what's the difference between the vertical embouchure? Okay, so when we say embouchure, that's fancy French for tongue, teeth, lips, jaw, how you're shaping your mouth, and you okay, all of this. All right, this is the embouchure. Okay. Okay. Now, in the book, in the course, in the program, we talk about two different kinds of embouchures. There's the vertical embouchure. Okay. It's an embouchure that is eh, generally has a vertical orientation to it. And then there's the horizontal embouchure, a little bit more tricky to work with. You have to train it to, to, to maintain it. We've talked about it before in other broadcasts. Um, it's what I advocate. It's a little more difficult to get a feel for, but once you get a feel for it, you sing better. Um, the horizontal embouchure looks like this. Okay. Vertical, horizontal. Okay. Might not seem like a big deal to you, but it really is. Um, a horizontal embouchure is slightly better, in my opinion, because you get it's less jaw movement when you're singing, if you can kind of hold it here. Less jaw movement, and because the oral cavity is compressed more, you get more amplification of the resonance inside the oral cavity. Um, also, the uh, horizontal embouchure is is more favorable for articulating narrowed vowels. Um, don't have all the answers, don't know exactly why, but for some reason, when you sink through a little bit more of a horizontal position like this and you chill out the jaw movement, suddenly the ability to articulate those narrow vowels that we all know are difficult sort of get a little bit better. Now, to Gina's question, that's the back story. All right, Gina's question is, what is the difference between the vertical embouchure and the snile? So the snile is something that I talk about in the book and the course. It's something I invented. The snile is just simply this. Okay. The snile is a kind of embouchure. All right. The snile is a horizontal embouchure position. All right. It's really not a vertical position. So, Gina, the snile is sort of a fun and funny way of describing and helping students get into a horizontal embouchure. I'm advocating and teaching horizontal orientation, okay? And to have fun with it, to help people grasp it better, I invented the snile. What's the snile? Well, the snile is a cross between a sneer and a smile. If you take a smile and a sneer and you bring it together, you get a snile. So, you got a smile. And you got a sneer, and you put it together, you get a snile. All right, that's a snile. That was easy. Next question. So, um, if you're a TDS student, you're working on your snile. All right, you're seeing through a snile like this. All right, everything's over. They got a little bit of a snile in there. It's a cross between a smile and a sneer. 